I pick up some great items for a great price that we all like. Hi everyone, welcome to my latest video. This video is going to be a haul video, stuff that I picked up on Friday the 11th of December. So I went on to Facebook on the 10th of December and came upon my Facebook feed that um, these items were available. I was like, cool, I'll check them out and try and get these ones because they, they go quick snap on this Facebook page. So this Facebook page was set up uh, end of the first lockdown for the local area. So my local area, local areas around, people to put their items on there for free. And it goes really quickly, just like that, quickly, quickly, quickly. So I was, I managed to get the first three lots. I thought I didn't get the because there was three lots I got, but then obviously on the page there's, um, I got the first lot, and then the second lot was a load of things that I might not have got. I was like, okay. A few hours later, I thought I give a little cheeky message to the lady because all to one lady, and I was like, if you have these still available, then I would like. So I was going to go round um, on the Friday anyway to pick them up and in the end well, I got them all folks, I got them all. So what I'll do now is share with you what the item is, obviously it's all for free, local Facebook page and what it's all worth, I've got some notes here. So enjoy it. The first one is this blood curdling box of books um, for the old horrible histories. As you'll see coming up, the complete and solds on eBay, what they sell for it, etc. So, one went on £22 worth on bids, and then this one probably go for £16. Got quite a few books in here. There is the odd one or two, which I'm trying to find um, here. For example, that's got one of these in. But that's the way it goes. But they're all really good. Some are sun faded, as you can see, but they're all here. So I should have roughly get around about £16 plus postage for the Horrible History books. So that was a good pick up. All from the same lady by the way. And then I picked up this um, two Xbox 360 games that were in the bundle. Lara Croft and this one, uh, Cameo, Elements of Power. Never played it but I played Lara Croft. Lara Croft um, is worth around £7. I'm going on to um, eBay, most of this will be on eBay, a few on Facebook for example, and then obviously Cameo may be going to eBay for a five plus postage, or on to Facebook, so that's cool for the Xbox 360 games, these need testing by the way, because I've got a lot of scratches, they always come up with scratches for some reason, the Xbox games, then I picked up these ones as well, still from the same lady. So you've got Fallout 3, which is worth um, £8.40, and then Fallout Las Vegas, which is worth £4. So these two will be bundled up. A bundle, Fallout and Fallout Las Vegas, onto eBay. And then you've got Dragon Age um, Origins, which is the collector's edition, which is worth around... as. I may be able to push a fiver, one on for £2.79 in bids, but this version, um, if I had the Ultimate Edition, it'd be worth £17. But this version's not worth much. But I did pick up this one as well, the Dragon Age 2, as, as well. So that one is worth a little bit more, Dragon Age 2, £8.45. So these two Dragon Ages I've never played before will go on to eBay together. Let me know in the comments below what would you do with these games, sell them singly or individually or would you put them on to eBay, Facebook or would you put both together? Let me know in the comments below. Then you've got the Bog Standard Borderlands Game of the Year edition. I've sold this um, a lot of times before. £6 onto eBay. Then we come to the bigger lot here, which is... So we've got, the first one here is um, Mirror's Edge, which is a sealed PlayStation edition, 
Got to be still. That one's not worth as much as I thought, Mirror's Edge. Um, only worth £11.79. So it's, it's good, new and sealed, easy to deal with. Then you've got Call of Duty 3, it's the American version. It's not got the PS3 seal, it's been resealed by the set lip to things. T for teen, by the way. And these um, American version PlayStation 3 games will work on a European PlayStation because they're region free, by the way. Not region locked. They're region free, just to say. So Call of Duty, um, £7.95. And if I had a nice um, PAL version, it would be worth £34.99 sealed, with the official seal. Well, this one's worth £7.95. So I've got GSP on, so that's cool. Global shipping program, so that may go to America, who knows. And then a legendary Resistance Fuller Man, what a game. I love that series, about three or four in a series. And then that one there, um, it's worth £3.80, it'll go on to Facebook, Marketplace, Warhawk, um, this one there, it's some sort of um, fighting, shooting game thing, never played it, but it looks quite good, it's only worth 4 99 so that'll go on to Facebook there, then you've got Elder Scrolls Oblivion Game of the Year Edition, Platinum um, version as well. Game of the Year Platinum. Duh, 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 duh. Then you got the. Um, it's worth five pounds. So I go on Facebook as well. Because I don't try and do anything under five pounds really or six pounds on eBay. It's too much of a hassle. It's when you only get the postage when you pay for it, etc. Whatever else. Even if it's these for free, they still won't get much anyway for these games. Because most of these games on eBay will. Um, are on there on the feed sold or even on the um, to be sold for free, mostly single ones. But I always put postage on mine always. Um, White Knight Chronicles goes for six pound ninety nine. We'll go onto eBay. Then we've got Heavy Rain sold this Sammy times. Never played it, but sold it four pound eighty seven. Facebook Marketplace. Um, Enchanted Arms again is another American version. T for teen. Go um chanted arms and we'll go for eleven pounds on eBay, even though it's an American version. You, you can still play the PS3 games in this country, pal. Heavenly Sword, which is a very good game. I played that a few times. It goes for five pounds twenty. Just about going to eBay. Especially especially this time of year. Even though it's getting really, really, really close to Christmas. Um Brink Special Edition contains bonus extras, Doom. Pack, spec ops pack as well. Three pound by a Facebook marketplace. That's what I'm gonna go for. I thought we'd go for a lot more, but obviously not, folks. And then the last one here that I'm keeping myself, which is worth seven ninety nine, a legendary game, Time Crisis Four. I'll be keeping that, folks. That's a really good game to have onto the um, PlayStation Three. Cause I've got the other ones. Um, Time Crisis, because I used to play the Time Crisis games on the um, arcade version all the lot. Time Crisis 1 and 2, all the time. With all the uh, things, shooting them. <laughs> it's really good. So that's for my collection. So there are the games I picked up and the books. The books and the games. A couple of these and these ones. So do let me know in the comments below what you liked about this video, what games you played on these before, would you sell them individually or um, together or would you go on Facebook Marketplace, eBay etc. And all I'd say is like, share and subscribe and catch you later. Take care folks, see ya.